Jet aircraft are a very special part of German air forces of World War II era. After all, the Luftwaffe were the first to accept a military aircraft with a jet engine into service and the first to use their jets in actual combat. The German Mi-262 Schwalbe is an iconic fighter aircraft known far and wide for its effectiveness in air battles. But there was also the Arado 234 Blitz, an excellent jet bomber that is often forgotten in the shadow of the more popular fighter. That's hardly fair, though, as the Blitz is often considered one of the most sophisticated aircraft designs of its time. The story of this vehicle begins in 1940, when German engineers made strides in their research of possible applications of rocket and turbojet engines. As the research progressed, the Ministry of Aviation offered a tender for a jet-powered high-speed interceptor, and Rado Flugzeugwerke was the only company to respond. The team responsible for the project was led by Walter Blum, a veteran of World War I. It took them just a year and a half to complete the first version. It was an all-metal monoplane with two spar wings. Originally, it had Yumo 004 engines and was supposed to take off from a special jettisonable trolley, a concept later used with the Comet intercept aircraft. The Arch 234 was also to land on special retractable skis. All of that was made with a single goal in mind, to reduce the weight of the aircraft and maximize the internal fuel load capacity. In 1941, the project received the full support of Ernst Udet, a key figure in the Luftwaffe, and soon the RLM asked Rado to supply several prototypes. The interceptor prototype finally received flight-qualified jet engines and took to the skies in June 1943. It was really impressive in action. The aircraft was fast, got up to speed in no time at all, and was pretty agile to boot. At some point during development, though, engineers decided to drop the ski landing system as test pilots complained that it lacked any braking capability and made the aircraft hard to control during the landing run. The officials at the RLM also insisted that the design should be altered to make it into a bomber that could be used to attack Britain. Despite all those changes, Arado engineers followed through, and by early 1944, the aircraft was almost ready for production. In the middle of 1944, the first R-234s, the B-series, rolled off the production lines. The Blitz was born. The aircraft was used in the reconnaissance role and for bombing. There were also plans to give it advanced equipment. The empty weight of the bomber was around 5 tons, and it weighed around 9 tons when fully loaded. Even with a full bomb load, though, the Blitz could fly at 690 kph, and it easily reached the speed of more than 750 kph after the bombs had been dropped. The aircraft immediately proved its worth. It allowed pilots to do things that would be impossible on other vehicles and provided intel on the areas that were heavily defended by the Allies. Thanks to its powerful engines, the bomber could easily outrun most enemy fighters. Even AA crews had a hard time tracking such a speedy target. That's not to say that being that fast was always an advantage. For example, when trying to destroy the Ludendorff Bridge at Remagen in the March of 1945, Arado Blitz bombers had a very tough time trying to hit it with their 1,000 kilogram bombs. Not a single bomb hit the target. Due to a number of reasons for the ME-262, at some point Arado engineers had to consider using other jet engines. That's why the last production R-234, the Model C, was equipped with four BMW jets. This version also carried 20mm MG-151 cannons. 
Blitz bombers were very impressive, but they couldn't turn the tide of the war. After the defeat of Nazi Germany, Rado Flugzeugwerke was broken up. Their aircraft were used for flight testing and evaluation by the Allies, and that was it. Only one R-234 survives today. You can see it in the National Air and Space Museum of the Smithsonian Institute in the US. Also, the Blitz can always be found in War Thunder. At rank 5 of the aircraft tech tree, these bombers are an excellent pick for a variety of tactical objectives in both air and mixed battles. Do you agree that they're underappreciated? Overshadowed by the success of the ME-262? Please tell us what you think in the comments below. We're listening 24-7.